What's up guys, this is Matt Ramsey with the Octave Hire East Voice Studio in Austin, Texas. And this is Octave Hire TV, episode 19, the most enthusiastic vocal technique show in the world. And today we're talking about how to beat your discouragement. So last week we were talking a lot about uh, if you're feeling discouraged, ways to get over that. Now I wanted to talk about another element of that, and that is how full is your artistic tank? Okay, so how often are you taking in new things? Another factor in feeling discouraged is feeling like there's not a whole lot of reason behind what you're doing. We're emotional animals. We need an emotional reason why we're doing what we're doing. In the context of voice lessons, you know, it can get really, really old to do nay, 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 all the time without any kind of like feeding for your artistic soul. So let's talk about how to refill your tank. Well, guys, the the idea for this um, this episode and talking about how how to beat discouragement uh, has kind of come out of the the annual music festival here in Austin called South by Southwest, and it was you know a really kind of like a pivotal week for me uh, as a person because you know I've oftentimes been working other jobs where I am not able to go out and you know take in all this music, all this beautiful music that's occurring in Austin all the time, um, or, you know, at least being able to do it when I'm like, you know, well rested and all this stuff like that. I've snuck off to do things in the past, but this year I wanted to throw myself completely into it. So what I did, I saw, you know, tons and tons of shows. I hosted a couple of international musicians here in Austin, which is uh, a really nice kind of like, uh, you know, give back to the community, but at the same time, you also get provided with a, a South by Southwest wristband so that you can kind of get into some of the more exclusive uh, shows. So me and my girlfriend, Monica, you know, we were out and about and we were catching every show that we could. And, you know, it ended as all great things do. And, you know, I'm exhausted and, you know, I'm just uh, getting back to a normal schedule and I'm sleeping eight hours again. And I started playing with my band and I noticed that I just had so much uh, musical inspiration from all of the great music that I'd seen over the week, and it really just unlocked something within me. You know, in the past, I've you know written a song a day at times, and I kind of finally started getting back to something that was really like uh, really uh, kind of prolific in a way. It was like I was coming up with all these songs and all these different things and all these ideas, musical ideas. And I was like, it's because of South by, it makes sense. You know, you ingest all of this musical inspiration and it can't help but impact the way that, you know, you, you are as an artist. Um, it impacts the way that I am as a teacher. I'm very, very, um, oftentimes I'm kind of like living in a bubble as a teacher. I'm like, well, if it's not, you know, <laughs> You know, uh, you know, if it's that's not totally perfect, I'm like, okay, well, we got to do it again because this is kind of the perfection bubble. When you come in here, it's like, you know, you're paying to, you know, have the best voice lesson possible. You're here to find vocal balance. And we kind of work within this, like this perfection zone, this zone of, you know, how well you can possibly do something and me pushing you even just a little bit further to do it. You know, you don't see a whole lot of that on stage. You see people, run, you know, writhing around on the floor, playing guitar solos and screaming their heads off. And, you know, it's it's been kind of revelatory for me to remember that there are so many singers, you know, who don't think about technique. They don't think about uh, or maybe they have a lot of technique and then they forget it as soon as they get to the stage. So there's a whole lot of different perspectives. But for me, I realized that I had finally refilled my artistic tank. And I think that that is so, so, so important. So if you're feeling discouraged, if you feel like there's a block for you right now in in terms of feeling inspired, or maybe you're just feeling just kind of crummy, I wanna give you a free resource guide to being able to refill your artistic tank. Now, what I've done is at the bottom of this blog post, and if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and click the link so that you can get back to the blog post. I've listed lots and lots and lots of different free artistic 
um, things that hopefully will refill your tank if you're feeling a little bit discouraged. On it are things like places to go for karaoke, uh, see a film, you know, take a free dance class, uh, go and see pe people performing live. And what you'll see is that there's lots and lots of people who are on the exact same journey as you. And that in itself is an inspiring thing. When you see other people who are doing the same thing as you are, they're on the same journey as you are, they're facing the same struggles, but you know, but maybe they're not feeling as discouraged at that particular moment. Maybe they'll give you a new perspective on why it is you're doing what you're doing. Always, 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 you have to find reasons why you're doing it. If you don't have that reason why, then from an emotional context, there's no reason why you're gonna continue. So this is why we do things like have showcases and uh, encourage people to go karaoke and open mics and all this stuff like that. But I hope that uh, if you follow some of the links that I've attached at the bottom of this blog post, you'll find something that really, really, truly inspires you because I'll tell you there is no more powerful place than that. Guys, I'm really excited and, I, and let me know what you're doing. You know, text me or email me or whatever. If you end up doing some of the stuff, I'd love to, to be a part of it with you if, if I can. Um, and I'll certainly keep you up to date with any of the cool stuff that's going on. Uh, with that said, I would like to announce that we have an amazing performance opportunity coming up soon. We've got the uh, Octave Higher Student Showcase over at uh, the New Movement Theater here on Sunday, May 15th from 4 to 6 p.m. It's been a long time coming and it's super exciting because it's gonna be like a legit venue and there's gonna be, you know, uh, seating and there's gonna be a good sound system and all this awesome stuff. And I love working with the people from the new movement. They're just absolutely awesome. So I really, really hope to see uh, some of you guys sign up for that. And I'm gonna make that sign up sheet available to you very soon. Guys, I hope you have a great week. Go out there, refill your artistic tank, and I'll see you next week. Bye now.